whenever we are working on any project though it is a project of creating a report or it is a project of development we will be very cautious when we are working on any project now what if the case if i know some important tips or i am a little bit different when compared to other employees in an organization because i am aware of what trick or what tip i have to use so that my project my report will look attractive will look unique will have some interesting features all these things so for all these important tips and tricks what are the different platforms we have mainly in power bi if we talk about hi i am m asif hussain from know how academy what are we going to learn in this video we are going to learn the different power bi tips and tricks such as natural language analysis smart narrative performance analyzer integrating the report with the microsoft teams generating qr code and connecting our report with the powerpoint so let's work on it my dear viewers by the end of this video you could able to get six different ideas of how we have to use the different tips that we are going to discuss today in this video and how we have to implement it in our real time projects so watch till the end as you can see here i have my power bi report am i right so i have my power bi report and in this particular report for instance if you would like to consider that let me just you know make it a little bit smaller so that i would like to arrange some space for one more visual okay so what i would like to do here is that whenever we would like to interact with the report whenever we would like to interact with our dashboard mainly when i am talking about a report it will be in our power bi desktop application so here what happens is that if i would like to see some data which is not visible in any of the visual that i have represented in a report so for that what i have to do i have to interact with the report so that i can understand what exactly i am looking for so for this there is one important thing that we should understand and that that is that we have to take the help of ai as we all are aware that our modern world nowadays is completely dependent upon artificial intelligence so in the same way some features of ai are still available in power bi so if we look into it as soon as i come here under the insert you can see that there are some ai visuals there are some ai visuals so for the first tip that i am talking to you is natural language analysis which is question and answer chat so as soon as i click on this question and answer okay so we can see that there are some you no know, suggestions like what is the tool or what is the total sandwiches sold okay and the to top sandwich categories by total total uh, cost or total revenue so whatever we have it here so if i click on it and uh, if i just would like to see okay how, what is the result out of it then i am going to get the suggestion here as you can see that we have got this in a form of a visual okay so if you do not want to go with the suggestions given by the visual if you would like to go and see it by your own so for example let me consider uh, what is total revenue if i would like to ask see we are even getting the suggestion okay so what is total revenue by or if i would like to answer in this way what is total revenue for classic sandwich okay if i click on enter we are getting some value 220.05k so we are using artificial intelligence in order to interact with the report and get some valuable insights okay so this particular chart which is ai enabled so the very interesting point in this particular chart is that whatever the question we ask so it will analyze that whether it should show you in a form of a visual or in a form of a card chart as i can see that it is to do 0.05 
okay as my total revenue for uh, classic sandwich type category okay so this is one of the interesting uh, trick or uh, you know, one of the interesting features that we can consider for interacting with the report using artificial intelligence so my dear viewers let's work on the second uh, interesting tip the second interesting tip is completely based upon the before telling you the complete reason of my second tip first let me explain you some small question so the same monthly trend for total orders the line chart that i have it here i'm just getting it into page number one as you can see that it's starting from january ending in the december and we have some years mentioned here okay so monthly trend okay what is the monthly trend for my total orders? so total orders that we have it here all right so in this particular visual if i would if my customer if my manager if my team leader if my client they would like to uh, see or they are asking me to describe me about this particular visual so it might look a little bit difficult for me to explain it exactly what exactly this visual is telling all about so what i can do is that i can again come into insert you know i can use the ai visuals and we have something called a smart narrative so if i click on this smart narrative okay if i just click on custom and based upon this visual it is giving me some insights here what exactly it is giving the insight it is telling me that at 1935 okay this is my 1935 which is the top total orders at 1935 in the month of july and this is happening in the month of july july we have the highest total orders which and it was 17.56 percent higher than the month of october okay so which had the lowest total orders at 1646 at 1646 so this is the point 1646 across all the 12 months if we consider in a year the total orders ranged from 1646 to 1935 okay so this is one of the interesting things that the smart narrative is giving me narrative in the name itself we have narration it is giving us some briefing about the particular visual so if you were or if you would like to explain it to your client or customer uh, some uh, description about what exactly is the visual telling all about if you are facing some difficulty in understanding that yes we can take the help of ai visual smart narrative and we can explain it exactly how the visual is giving us the result all right so let's work on the third interesting tip under power bi so that is nothing but the performance analyzer okay so in every particular report or in every particular tool or every in every particular language if you consider so we should make sure that the the performance of that particular report the performance of that particular query should be better and best so that it should not cause any delay in showing us the value so in order to go with that how should we know that uh, how is the performance of our particular report so generally when this interview question is asked you know how are you going to improve the performance of your power bi report so the general answer that we generally give is that we you know we have to reduce the unnecessary columns okay we have to remove the unnecessary data we should make sure that we don't use more new columns and increase the size of the data set we have to use only the accurate new measures and whichever measures are not required that we can eliminate and so there are different number of answers that people will be giving it in the interviews but the interesting point is that we have something called as performance analyzer in power bi so using that performance analyzer we could check how fast our query is interacting so how should we do that so if we consider here i have something called as performance analyzer in the right side so if i click on this performance analyzer as you can see that the question and answer chart is just taking just three milliseconds okay so it is giving me the change page so under monthly trend for total orders it is 186 milliseconds and the smart narrative that i have used it here it is taking 325 milliseconds so if i would like to just interact with it you can see the difference okay you, you can see the difference okay i'm changing a slicer okay again if i click on this again the change the slicer again if i click on quarter three here okay so we can see that uh, category so it is giving us the time frame which particular chart or which particular slicer is giving us the maximum time or which is taking maximum time okay so that we have to uh, make sure and reduce whichever uh, the time consuming is more so performance analyzer gives us a unique uh, 
information that which particular visual is taking how much time to load the data and show us the result. So that is the third uh, tip that we can consider to improve the performance of our particular report. And when coming to the next uh, interesting tip, my dear viewers, so the interesting thing is that if I would like to connect the particular report to my Microsoft Teams, okay, I would like to connect this particular report to Microsoft Teams. So for this, what I have to do is that if I come to home, I have to first publish my particular report. So if I would like to publish it, it is just asking me to save the changes. Okay. So you have to select in which particular workspace you would like to publish your particular report. So here as I have already published it into my particular uh, uh, workspace. So I would like to just show you uh, the workspace here. As you can see that we have the report in our Power BI service. I have published it already to just save my time. Okay, so what I'm going to do, if I would like to publish this report, okay, into my Microsoft Teams, I would like to integrate my Power BI report into my Microsoft Teams. So what I have to do, what is the interesting point that I can consider? So for this, I would like to come to my Microsoft Teams. So let's consider that in this particular channel, you know, I will, I'll go here and I will add a app. Okay, I will add an app here. App is Power BI. So I will click on this Power BI and I'll click on save. As soon as I click on save, okay. So it is asking me two ways to get the particular report integrated with, you know, Microsoft Teams. So for this, there are two ways. The first way is that I could go and paste the Power BI link here, or I can go and browse the workspace. So for instance, let us go and browse the workspace. So under this particular workspace that I have, I'll go with this particular report and I'll click on add. As soon as I add it, we could see the complete report here. Okay, let us go and start the trial. We could see the complete report here in the Microsoft Teams. All right, as you can see, we have got the complete report here in Microsoft Teams. I am in my particular workspace. Sorry, I'm in my particular Microsoft Teams. So here I have integrated my Power BI report into my Microsoft Teams. So here also you can go and interact with the report and all the changes that you can see in the same Power BI, you can see the changes that the visuals are getting interacted in Microsoft Teams as well. All right. So now let's see the fifth interesting tip. So for that, we have to go to our Power BI service. So my dear viewers, so here, I would like to show you one interesting thing. Whenever we are going to any particular shop, okay, for purchasing some items and all. Nowadays, we have left the habit of carrying our wallet with us because everything is happening online on a UPI transaction. So what's happening is that we are scanning a QR code and as soon as we scan the QR code of any particular shop, okay, it is redirecting us to pay either through phone pay, Google pay, Paytm, okay, uh, yeah, UPI ID, you know, Bharat pay, Amazon pay, there are different online platforms. Okay, so in the same way, if I would like to create or generate a QR code for my particular Power BI report, is it possible? Yes, it is possible. So for this, what I would like to do, I'll go here into the file. And as you can see that generate a QR code, generate a QR code. As soon as I click on generate a QR code, a QR code is getting generated. Okay. So now this generate this code, if I scan it in my device, okay, I can get this particular access. Okay. I can get the particular access of this particular report. As you can see, sandwich sales report JPJ. And here I have got my particular QR code. So with this QR code, if you scan it, you know, we can redirect it into my particular report that I have prepared. This is one of the interesting things uh, that can ever Power BI give it to us. There are many other things that Power BI is giving many uh, hands-on uh, uh, features as a user-friendly option to the user. But I love this uh, generating QR code so that I can share the QR code with the user and they can scan it and view our complete report. So the next and the last interesting tip in Power BI that we have is connecting or exporting our particular report into PowerPoint. Yes, it is possible. So I'll click on here and either there are two ways to go with it. I can go with the live data where I can go and interact with my particular report in PowerPoint as well, or I can just export it as a visual. Okay, only with the current value or if you would like to exclude the hidden reporter tabs that it is up to us. So I'll click on export. 
So as soon as you click on export, all the visuals that we have written in a report that will be exported into our PowerPoint as an image. But there we cannot go and interact with our particular report because it is not live data. We cannot, we are not connecting it in a live way. If we are connecting it in a live way, yes, it is possible to interact with the report, interact with the visual and then we can go and uh, uh, you know, see different uh, categories, different uh, uh, slicers or different uh, card charts that we have it in our particular report. So our sandwich sales report is downloaded. Let me just click it on open. So as you can see that sandwich sales report. Okay, this is the image. This is another image. So this interesting visual as you can see it here, sandwich sales report. This is the first home page. This is the requirement page. Okay, so this is the image format that we have exported into PowerPoint and in the same way if you would like to go with the live it is possible but in the live what's happening we can go and interact as how we are interacting with the report like this we can interact it in a PowerPoint as well. So my dear viewers in this video we have learned the different ways or the different Power BI tips and tricks such as natural language analysis, smart narrative, performance analyzer integrating report with Microsoft Teams, generating QR code and exporting Power BI report into PowerPoint. Thank you for choosing Knowhub Academy as your source for IT knowledge. We are always here to help you to navigate the tech world. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. Stay curious and keep learning.